Hello and welcome to Any Value in A in B. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. I have two columns of numbers and want one cell at the top that tells me if any values in A exist in B. And we're gonna do just that in this video. Exercise one. In this exercise, we'll just get familiar with the functions we'll use. First, count if equals count if. We wanna count how many cells in this range comma meet this criteria close function and enter and as we can see within this range there's one cell that is equal to the value two if we change this to the number one we also get one if we change it to something not in the range like 10 we get zero so count if simply counts the number of cells within that range that meet the criteria let's change this back to two the other thing that'll come in handy is using a comparison operator greater than or less than for example if I edit this formula and I say, is that greater than zero, it returns a true false value accordingly. So if that's one, two, or seven, it's returning true. If there's nothing found in the range like 10, then it returns false. So that's how we can use a comparison operator to return a true or false value rather than the count. And now that we're familiar with count if and comparison operators, it's time to move to the next exercise. Exercise two. Here we have two lists. We'll call them list A and list B. Let's see if any of these values are found over here. Equals count if. We wanna see how many cells within this range, and since I can anticipate that I'm gonna fill the formula down, I wanna lock this reference down and make it absolute. To do that, I'm just gonna hit the F4 key. You could also insert the dollar signs manually. Comma are equal to this. Close function and enter. So we get zero. So what does this mean? It means there are no values within this range equal to 166. Let's fill this formula down. Here we can see that 178 appears to be in this list, which it is, and none of the other values. Now, depending on your version of Excel, in addition to writing the formula in a single cell and filling it down, you may be able to write one formula and use dynamic arrays to fill that down for you. Again, this just depends on your Excel version. Equals count if count the number of cells in this range comma that are equal to any of the values in this range close the function here you can see for the criteria argument we're not pointing it to a single cell we're pointing it to a range of cells enter and this returns the same results now we could also see if anything in b is in a equals count if we want to count the number of values in this range comma that are equal to any of the values in this range close the function and enter so depending on what you're working on this could be sufficient however to answer the actual question asked we want to figure out how to create one cell at the top that tells us if anything in a is also in b and we'll do that in the next exercise. Exercise three. So let's start with our basic count if function equals count if. Count the number of cells in this range, comma, that are equal to any of the values in this range. Close the function and enter. Now what we'll do is simply collapse this by using a sum function. Equals sum, and we'll wrap the sum function around the count if function. Enter. Now, if that is greater than zero, there's a duplicate. And now we'll just use a comparison operator, greater than zero. And that'll simply convert that result into a true or false value. Enter, true. So this is saying something in list A also appears in list B. Now, if we wanted to identify which values appear in both, we could simply select this entire range, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values, and we can just click OK. So that's how we can use functions, formulas, and conditional formatting to find out if anything in A is also in B. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 